Welcome to Security Speakeasy, where we talk about all things network security. Today, we are going to look into IoT and device security for retail industry. My name is Shravanti Reddy, and I lead product marketing for enterprise IoT security at Palo Alto Network. Joining today is Jared Valentin, our retail industry architect and an expert in retail security. Thanks for joining us today, Jared. Glad to be here. Thank you. IoT technology in retail is expected to soar to 297 billion by 2030. However, in a recent report, 72% of retailers say they were hit by a mildly severe or moderately severe cyber attack through one or more of their IoT devices in the past year. Jared, what do you think are some of the key industry trends for retail organizations today and how are they still relevant in 2023 and beyond? We've seen an explosion of the number and types of IoT devices uh, in our retail customers' networks. Um, and, and not just the, at the branch, but also in the distribution center. We're seeing cameras that have typically been used for security, but now are being combined with AI to uh, support customer behavioral analytics, smart building management systems, digital signage, audio video systems, self-checkout, um, all of these things really in an effort to not only increase the productivity of a, of a retail uh, organization, but also to increase customer satisfaction uh, with their shopping experience. Jared, could you shed some light on significant risks that these IoT devices pose for retailers and why are IoTs the low-hanging fruit for attackers? Yeah, many IoT devices, when they were created, they're, they're shipped with default passwords with insecure credentials. Uh, and many IoT devices also use uh, insecure protocols, unencrypted protocols. Uh, and then the IoT devices also from an operating system perspective, usually ship with a, an outdated or insecure firmware version or operating system that is difficult to patch. And so from an attacker perspective, that makes these devices um, ripe for exploit. Uh, it's easy to exploit those known vulnerabilities in those unpatched operating systems. And uh, there are even IoT specific malware families out there that when an attacker can get onto an IoT device, that becomes an ideal platform to leverage in a lateral movement within uh, a retail organization. Absolutely, patching those, uh, you know, old uh, software uh, devices which who are which are on old uh, software is very important. Also, we talked about the blind spots and that you know having no visibility into all the devices in the network definitely leaves uh, the door open for the attackers. Now, having talked about the attack, you know, attacks on IoT devices and how it's a low hanging fruit. What do you think should retailers consider when thinking about securing their organizations from these threats, especially entering through the IoT devices? First and foremost is understanding what IoT devices you have deployed in your environment, a discovery program. That's first and foremost uh, for any uh, organization you know, interested in, in securing their, their uh, networks from uh, the IoT related threats. So discovery first and foremost. Second would be segmentation, whether that be creating a, a new VLAN for those IoT devices, a new SSID on a wireless access point. But that um, segmentation allows those IoT devices to be put into an area where they're less likely to be um, uh, leveraged in an attack. Uh, so yeah, discovery, segmentation. And then I think uh, uh, even more interesting is what we've come together with uh, in our IoT security product is the ability to take that discovery and feed that information back into our firewalls such that it allows you to create security policy based on the type of device that you're dealing with. So you can create a security policy for cameras. You can create a security policy for digital signage systems. And you don't have to track down individual IP addresses or MAC addresses. You're really taking a step back and using that context to create a device family or a device type specific security policies. It's a very powerful tool. 
Absolutely. Um, and to add on top of that, we also talk about zero trust, which uh, is, you know, is not complete without device security. So it is absolutely important to secure your IoT devices for a complete zero trust architecture. Thank you so much, Jared, for your useful insights. Thanks for joining. I would like to conclude by saying that retailers should look into implementing a purpose-built IoT security solution that provides complete visibility into their network connected IoT devices, be it managed or unmanaged devices for protection against these threats, unknown and known threats. Thank you everyone for watching. If you would like the show, click the like button, subscribe to this channel, and please visit us at paloaltonetworks.com.